hey guys welcome back to my channel we're gonna get right to it all i'm doing right here is priming my eyelids i'm putting my tarte shape tape in tan sand and i'm just gonna blend that in so all we're doing here is blending i'm using these brushes all my brushes are from bh cosmetics just so you know i'm gonna set that with my sasha buttercup or you can set it with any setting powder that you desire but i'm using sasha buttercup right here i'm using two palettes my um, Lick and Lash Beauty Palette 35E and 35Y. I'm using pink and orange shades. So I'm using orange to put in my crease and then I use some purple at the edge. And now I'm cutting my crease with the same Tarte Shape Tape. This is a quick look, just so you know. So if you need to pause and go back and listen to what I said, you may do that. But I didn't want this look to be too, too long because it's really simple. This look maybe took me an hour with blending. But here I'm just adding a pink shade. Keep in mind, I bought my Lick and Lash Beauty Palettes in a bundle. So yeah, right here I'm using this like corally mix with yellow and all of that. All those colors are in the same palette. So you could get this look using Lick and Lash Beauty Palettes. Um, so I'm just building up those colors. And here I'm using this um, blue liner from the beauty store. You can find this at your local beauty store. It does sting a little bit. But that happened with most colored liners. I don't know why. But that's all I'm doing right here is just doing that liner just to make the look a little bit different. I'm using my NARS Radiant Foundation in Marquises. Marquises. That's the color. Um, I did go ahead and put some of the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector underneath my eyes and my dark areas. So I'm just blending in that foundation. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn to highlight all over my face. This is quick. This is quick. I'm being really quick with this because I don't want this video to be dragged out. But you can pause as I said before and go back. So I'm just, this is how I lay out my concealer just so I can blend it properly and it not be all messy all over the place. I'm using these lashes. I got them from Amazon. I am going to link them down below if I can find them. They came in a bundle of two, but the other one, I don't like it too much. It's too thick, but this is like 24 millimeter lashes. So yeah, right here, I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation in the color Earth to contour. And this is how I contour as well. I make sure that I blend out my concealer before I blend out my contour just so that my face is not really too white and overpowering. So that's what I'm doing right here is just blending my concealer out. I did go ahead and add some of um, my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand, a few dots underneath my eyes, just so you know, just to brighten up underneath my eyes and my nose. So here I'm just blending that out. I'm using my same foundation brush to blend that out so you don't need a brand new brush. And you're just going to keep going back and forth with the beauty blender and the brush just to make sure everything is nice and blending. Here I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to just set underneath my eyes before I set with the Sasha Buttercup. I noticed this gives me a flawless look. So I'm going in with this. It's in the color dark. No, it's in the color deep. Then I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup. I will say when you're setting your face with the Sasha Buttercup, please don't put it on your mouth area where I did. You're going to see me put it on my mouth area. And if you do put it right there, make sure you blend it properly. Because you're going to see at the end of the video, I did not blend it properly. And that just messed up my whole look. Like, well, to me, it messed up my whole look. Right here, I'm using my Ruby Kisses Contour Palette. You can get this at your beauty store as well. It was around like $4. And I'm just contouring my face just to warm it back up. I'm using this, I think it's the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I'm not sure. You guys can see. I always use this palette. I'm just using that those two colors, the gold one and then the purpley blue shimmer one, just to highlight my inner crease and my brow bone. Right here, I'm dusting off the powder. You can see I probably should have used like a more dense brush to brush the powder off because I did not really blend out a, like the size of my the size of my mouth is not blended out properly. I'm using that same Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm using that pinky shade. Sometimes I use the orange shade in that palette or the pinky shade. This is the only palette I use as a blush. It is an eyeshadow palette. I'm setting my face with my Morphe setting spray just to make everything nice and set. And then I'm just going to do my mascara. This is the Bad Girl Mascara from Sephora. Um, I think it's... I'm not sure who it's by. But you can find it at Sephora. 
Here I'm just making sure I pinch my lashes after I add the mascara so everything can be blended. I'm putting on my highlight. The highlight I used was from um, Maybelline. It's the Maybelline highlight. You could search it up. Um, Aliyah J used this highlight. Or I sometimes use my Juvia's Place um, Warrior Palette because it has a lot of shimmery shades. I'm using a regular brown lip liner from the beauty store. And I also used um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Milkshake. I got it from eBay. And I use my Glizzy Gloss as usual, just the gloss of my lips. Right here, I'm going in and fixing up my hair. And then this is basically the look. Tell me if you guys really like this look. If you tried it out, please tag me in it. This was a quick look. I really did not want to talk too, too much for this video. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. See you on overdose. Fuck me good after we eat, then we gon' roll the slow. Mm -hmm. Stash my soul up in the road so I can go.